Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of Sendi Seasons. I'm Krish Deshnani and today I'm going to talk about top 10 winter perfumes to have for men. There are some underrated gems, there are some hype fragrances and some hidden gems and cheapies as well. So let's get started. Number one, starting off with Givenchy Gentleman Bose. This comes in EDP concentration. It's a woody, powdery, floral, spicy fragrance. The prominent notes are iris, cocoa bean, a bit of pepper in the dry down and sandalwood for the powdery effect. It's good for daily use like the office or you can wear this for dates as well. It has a very likable aroma and it's quite pleasant as well. The scent profile is such that it would actually suit a gentleman. Ooh, hence the name. Next up, let's talk about the longevity. 8 sprays gives me around 9 hours of longevity, which is quite good. And I would rate this fragrance a 9 out of 10. Givenchy Gentleman Pose. Number 2, Versace Eros Flame. It's a fresh, spicy, woody fragrance. It comes in EDP concentration. The prominent notes are in the opening you'll get a bit of citruses and a bit of spiciness from the pepper and in the dry down you'll get woodiness of cedarwood and sandalwood and the sweetness of vanilla and tonka beans. It's a pleasant fragrance, smells good, inoffensive. You can wear this to office, you can wear this daily, you can wear this during the day, night, anytime. It's quite versatile during the winters. Basically Versace Eros Flame is a more matured version of Versace Eros, those who want to smell more different, more unique go for Eros Flame. It's underrated and give it a shot. I blind bought this and I really liked it. 8 sprays gives me around 10 hours of longevity. Projection is medium and I would rate this fragrance. Uh, in my short videos, I rated this a 9 out of 10 but I would rate this a perfect 10. Versace Eros Flame. On number 3, we have Dior Sauvage Elixir. This comes in pure parfum concentration. It's a warm, spicy, woody fragrance. It's different from its original flanker. Smells too good, quite alluring, inviting. I love this DNA. Actually, I'm going to make this my scent of the day. <sighs> Smells too good. The most prominent notes of this fragrance are amber and licorice notes. It's quite good. It's well blended in this. The performance is amazing. Four to five sprays will give you over 10 hours of longevity. And the projection is also quite strong of this fragrance. And I would rate this fragrance a 10 out of 10. I love this DNA, Dior Sauvage Elixir. Since we have started talking about high fragrances, let's talk about Spice Bomb Extreme. This comes in EDP concentration. It's an oriental spicy fragrance. The prominent notes are vanilla, a bit of tobacco, some boozy cinnamon and um, a bit of saffron. It's a loud fragrance, pretty strong, strictly for parties and clubbing. Projection is loud, amazing, ignam chakas. The longevity is good. 8 sprays gives me over 12 hours of longevity. And I would rate this fragrance a 10 out of 10. Spice Bomb Extreme. On number 5, we have 1 million Elixir. It's a sweet, woody, aromatic fragrance. The opening is similar to the EDT version, but the dry down is nice, sweet, inviting, and more playful. The prominent notes are vanilla and tofu bean uh, and a bit of woods. And it also comes with an Illuminati logo too. The performance is quite good. 8 sprays will give you around 9 to 10 hours of longevity. And I would rate this fragrance a 9 out of 10. 1 million elixir. On number 6, we have Azaro, the most wanted. This comes in EDP concentration. It's a spicy cardamom, sweet toffee and woody amber wood fragrance. A good fragrance for casual outings in the night. Good for date nights. Good for clubbing, partying. Quite good DNA, likeable DNA. You'll get compliments for sure from this fragrance. The projection is good of this fragrance and performance is good. 8 sprays gives me around 9 to 10 hours of longevity. And I'll rate this fragrance a 9.5 out of 10. Azaro, the most wanted. We've spoken about all expensive perfumes till now, so let's start with the cheapies, right? Starting off with number 7, Vanilla and Tobacco by Flavia. This is the alternative of Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille. This is a spicy, sweet, woody fragrance. The prominent notes are spices, tobacco and vanilla and a bit of tonka beans as well. Don't blind by this DNA. This DNA grew on me and it's a very masculine DNA, quite bossy. Good for date nights, good for evening occasions, strictly made for winters. Six sprays gives me around five to six hours of longevity and projection is medium of this fragrance, but smells quite good. It's a very good alternative. I got this only for 1200 rupees on Arbaf's website. So quite good for the price right and i'll rate this fragrance an 8.5 out of 10 flavia's vanilla and tobacco 
On number eight, we have another cheapy Latafa Camera. It's a sweet, boozy fragrance. You will smell like a dessert in this fragrance. It comes in EDP concentration. The prominent notes are dates, cinnamon, praline, a bit of uh, vanilla and tonka beans as well. The performance is quite good of this fragrance. Six sprays gives me around eight hours of longevity. For the price, it's quite amazing, perfect for dates. The unisex fragrance, men as well as women can wear this. And I would rate this fragrance. Man, smells so good. A 10 out of 10. Latafa Camera. On number 9, we have Prada Luna Rosa Black. It's another underrated fragrance. It's an amber, musky, powdery, woody fragrance. This comes in EDP concentration. Smells quite good. It's long lasting. 7 sprays will give you around 8 hours of longevity. Projection is quite intimate, decent amount of sillage. It's good for date nights. I really like this DNA, that's why I would rate this a 9.5 out of 10. Prada Luna Rosa Black. Next up, let's talk about a hidden gem. This is Isemiyake Laudacy Four Ohm Noir Ambre. This very few people get their hands on this fragrance. It smells quite good. It's like a designer version of Roja Amber Rood. I really like this DNA. It was like love at first sniff. This comes in EDP concentration, quite good fragrance by Issey Miyake, although all the other fragrances are good, but this was quite amazing. It's an ambery, leathery, warm, spicy fragrance. It has a Middle Eastern vibe in this. The prominent notes are saffron, a bit of cinnamon in the opening. And in the dry down, you'll get a bit of leather, a bit of tonka bean, a bit of amber in it and vanilla as well. I wanted to gatekeep this DNA, but it's a hidden gem. So I had to tell you all, if you all get your hands on it, do get it. It's long lasting. 8 sprays gives me around 11 hours of longevity. Too good. And projection is also quite good. You'll get compliments for sure with this fragrance. And I'll rate this fragrance. Smells quite good. So a 9.5 out of 10. Isi Miyake Laudacy for Om Noir Ambre. These were the 10 fragrances. But if your budget is good, let's talk about a bonus one. Number 11. Initial Oud for Greatness. It's an expensive perfume. Comes in EDP concentration. It's the first Oud fragrance I fell in love with. The DNA is so good. It's a safe combination of lavender, Oud and musk. You don't have to break the bank for this DNA. You can get your hands on Latafa Oud for Glory. It smells 80 to 90% similar to this fragrance, so you're sorted. The projection is monstrous of this fragrance and the longevity is amazing. 4 to 5 sprays gives me around 12 hours of longevity easily and the uh, projection is quite strong. Room filler. For sure. You can wear this daily in winters as a signature scent. Although it's expensive but still smells amazing. And I'll rate this fragrance a 10 out of 10. I'm not spraying it on me because it's quite expensive. Initial Oud for greatness. So that's it for today guys. Hope you all liked the video. Thank you so much for watching till here. Do like, subscribe and share. And please do comment if you all want more such videos. I will definitely try to make more soon. And stay tuned for more guys. Thank you. Cheers.